Lesson 1, Pottery as a Living Tradition The Philippines is rich with stories about its art and culture. Such stories can be attributed to early forms of art such as jars, cats, and houses of early Filipinos. These are cultural treasures that serve as important evidences of the way of life of the Filipinos, long before foreign colonizers came to Philippine shores. All things at home are treasured not just because of their price or monetary value, but more so because of the stories behind them. Look around your house. What things do you own have sentimental value? What stories do they tell about the past? Jars and Pats of Art History Pottery is one of the earliest form of art. Early civilizations in different countries, including the Philippines, show evidence of this form of art. The art of pottery combines function and design. People make pots and jars for household and ritual purposes. In the Philippines, the Manunggul Jar, excavated in Palawan, show evidence of the early Filipinos' high artistic level. The Manunggul Jar is a secondary burial jar characterized by incised geometric patterns of lines and dots around it. It has a cover which features two men rowing a boat. This figure suggests the belief of early Filipinos in an afterlife reach only after crossing a mythical body of water. Pottery became more functional in the later years. Some examples are the palayok used for cooking and the banga and the tapayan for storing liquids. The palayok is made of red clay. The burnai is made of black earth and fired in the traditional method. The burnai serves as container of salt, water, salted fish, vinegar, and wine. In some provinces in northern Philippines, such as Ilocos, Burnay pottery is a living tradition. Burnay is an earthenware jar made by hand with the aid of a potter's wheel. Fidel Go, whose ancestor from mainland China, settled in Vigan and introduced the Burnay technology in the town around 1890 carries on the tradition and funds the biggest Burnay factory in Ilocos. Together with his son Bongbong, they continue to produce jars by hand.